Thank you, gentlemen. It's good to know we are beyond Game 5 uh, here on the analyst desk. But breaking this one down here, equalizing at 2-2, Faker comes in. They put him on that Cassidy, and there's a lot invested into getting him to the, to the late game. Yeah, and I, that's pretty romantic because if we look back at how EDG got here, it was the exact same way. So Faker subbing in, playing the Cassidy, and what a power pick to come through as well. Did absolutely fine in lane, then completely took the game over. There's a reason he's transcended even being the best player in the world at the moment. The guy's a god. He's just so good. Yeah, I totally agree. And when you see him, Cassidy, uh, zoning the back line, it was really impressive to see because Deft and uh, Faker had this little dance-off where he's going to the right side and Deft is like, I have to stay away from this guy because he just deals so much damage. And the way he zones them into a bundle so that Palm was forced, for example, at one team fight to go in, um, I think that's really impressive to see. I think this was an unprecedented game for EDG. Koro 0, 7, and 3. He was making moves in the early game that we had no idea what he was doing. He's been so solid for them every single game, even their initial loss against SKT. And this, this one game was, was very questionable for him. They rely on him to make the engages, to lock people down. And Malka is a good pick against Kassadin, but he just lost his composure, I suppose. Yeah, living and dying by the sword. We've been complimenting their outright <laughs> aggression the whole time. They just go a little bit too aggressive and props to SKT, they make them pay for it. Well, and that's the thing I want to go into next is this back and forth between who's going to play whose game. And in this game, it seems like SKT was able to dictate the pace. They got that game length that they were looking for. I feel like that was such a great game by SKT knowing how to trade off objectives where EDG was kind of sloppy. We saw in the mid game or mid to late game where they went for a tower, uh, tower exchange from top lane for four towers in the mid lane, given one of them was an Azir tower. And that just catapulted them, uh, SKT, wide ahead because before Kassadin was kind of equal, a little bit ahead because he had, I think, 3 or 4, a ridiculous scoreline already, and just catapulted them so far ahead that Team fighting was almost impossible against them. I think a problem with the game started at the draft. When EDG drafted the Corky, it's a super magic damage composition. They don't have a Lakeim to deal with three tanks, Alistar, Nar, and the Gragas, especially Cassidy, who has its shield against magic cruises. I feel like that put them in a position where they were thinking to themselves, we need to accelerate this game fast or we are going to get outscaled and lose this game. And they pushed it a little bit too far. Just You don't need to be that aggressive. Keep a little bit of composure. Be more calculated with the decisions regardless of your draft. Crumbs, I want to toss this into our replay. 24 minutes in to the mid lane. I think the important thing to note here is that all summoners were available aside from Nunu's Flash and Cassidy's Ignite. So this was a, a fight that really showed us how these two team comps stacked up, you know, Toe to toe. We're going to pull that up right now. Crumbs will take it away. In this replay right now, Cassidy also has his hourglass completed, and all five members of EDG are in the mid lane, and SKT is coming in for the flank. This is a good time for SKT to fight because it's Mega Nar. So let's roll the clip. And now Nar is approaching them, the Ezreal ult with, but there's a big Nar ulti here, putting them in position, and immediately EDG has to, I mean, Pawn has to use his escape. All the damage is put onto Nar, and he gets away. They are splitting them up perfectly. This Gragas ult puts Pawn really far out of the fight, so he's a non-factor. He's hitting the tanks right now, while Kassadin on the other side is just dealing with the backline. Kassadin with the armor, with the magic resist, is a really tanky champion to deal with, and Annie and Corky are not enough to take him down. Ezreal eventually gets a 1v1, and then with the resets that Kassadin can get, it's just the mana that you get from your W every time you hit anybody allows you to constantly chase and chase. And you see right here, I think he got two double kills around this time and just snowball casted and out of control. I feel like that was also really great showcasing of the zoning from the tank line. Um, Mara went in, got two-man ultimate. Um, probably not the best ultimate because he knocked nobody in, but he put them into the range of the carries. They dealt some DPS, um, locked down the Nunu. And then you saw Wolves zoning two, Gragas zoning two and having the exhaust on the carry. And that was just huge in the team fight and opened up for the carries to actually go in and deal DPS. Yeah, and Wolf's the guy I want to talk about. We've been hitting on supports a little bit more and he got Alistair. And you just have to say, when he has Alistair, he looks better than when he has any other support. The easy execution, the fact that he becomes unkillable. I think that if he can get it again, they're in with a very strong showing. All right, well, it all comes down to Game 5, where SK Telecom, T1, and Edward Gaming will have to leave it all on the rift if they want to walk away with the winners of the Midseason Invitational. Now, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
EDG is on a tear right now, looking for three in a row. And clear love may be number two. Eagle Eye Bang heads in for a double kill, maybe even a triple. Oh. Is it enough to pull the team back though? Make it all in. Throws everybody into the wall. SKT try to get back in the fight. Faker starts to pick up kills, goes in Sonya's. That's actually going to be a kill over to Bang, and they won't finalize. May go out, and it looks like Deft trying to skirt around the fight, cannot do so. SKT is just able to reposition themselves so fast. We are going to go to a full five here in the finals of the midseason Invitational. 